Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to our Fallout Fallout. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things. We uh, basically encountered the remnants of the Enclave, resulting in them being... Well, the remnants of the Enclave and remarkably difficult to defeat. Um, but that said, we've just cleared out all of that building. So now we're going to be entering into this building with the sat card array which is going to be awesome so the yes the remnants of the enclave are were very tough um they had xo1 power armor which is the upgrade of oh shit oh shit 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 thank you oh boy this is gonna be difficult oh god oh god ah last cannon Get away! Right, that's fine. <laughs> Not the environment to be in. Right, move to take fucking a. Ah! <laughs> Leave me alone! You know what? You deserve this. You want fight? Have a nuke. That missed. Right, let's leave this place. Set up on an set an ambush up on the line. So yes, basically we encountered the instant as uh, the remnants of the enclave in this user created mod. Come on, come on, come on! Select the fucking weapon. Right down. you enjoy the death asshole and so basically I will take you I'll take your last pistols I'll take your last pistols so oh hello we have a friend I need to get like a really oh you're not getting away bitch Yeah, you're not getting away. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, you can run. You'll just die slowly. There we go, nicely done. Good job, dog meat. So, yes, basically we encountered the remnants of the Enclave in this user-created mod, which I've provided links to the description down below if you're interested in this. And uh, what this does, and also what's nice, if you're worried about compatibility, it doesn't actually, um, it is not, bleh, it does not affect much with compatibility issues. So, um, if you, you know, you don't want it to break your game, it won't. It's very vanilla. Uh, it's using only a couple of sort of things. It's more or less tucked away in the most northerly sector of the map. Right. I think... It's a little bit radioactive, but that's only because there's all those drums over there. Right. There's a rat away, though. Oh, no. Can we not take the rat away? Damn it. Uh, dog tags. Ammo bag. This is like proper loot boxing. So, oh, my God. This. Right, again, we will not do... I will take the ammunition. Oh, my God, the amount of ammo. I will take the ammunition. Oh, let me guess. Another 5% weapons. <laughs> getting so oh! Oh! I will commence with the looting oh that would just take too long oh god oh wow you actually opens up as well nice I will say top notch mod absolutely beautiful interiors that was my bad um top notch interiors all the shit I could want my only complaint about this particular um mod it could be worth patching is the amount of how i my energy weapons damage is now getting buffed i think i've got plus oh, how many now i probably will dump a few just to say for the sake of uh right how, how much yeah i've got one two three four five six seven okay generic non-clump alliance plasma user manual user manual 
fire tactics. Okay, so I think what's happened is he's tried to make it so that you get bonuses to your... Um, what is it? Get bonuses to your other stats. But for some reason, it only applies to my energy weapons. Um, unless it's something completely different. I think it could be worth patching. So, uh, be careful. I, be careful. Uh, so, might be hell. This is awesome. Oh my god, the amount of crap that's in here is awesome. Anyway, we're exploring. So, oh wow. Nice. This little fusion. I got some pretty good stuff. And all that food is now mine. Right, I'm taking all the ammo. I think he may need to patch it so that all these particular stuff is... Uh, oh, stuff. All the particular sort of field manuals actually have the bonuses they intend to supply. I mean, well done, though. This mod is absolutely brilliant. And the, and the, the funny thing is, in the description, he said it was only he was only originally going to plan it for his own personal use. And I'm like, how? What? Like, dude, you, you deserve every bit of praise that you get. Because this mod is absolutely fantastic. But probably by the time this comes out, you'll have gained some more recognition. But, oh wow, this is awesome. And you've got given me some railgun ammo. Well done. I hope that this, I hope when this video comes out, it won't be too much longer afterwards. I might upload a few more episodes of this over the course of this month. But, no, this is pretty awesome. Let's do Oh fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. Shit. Slightly super ultra mega powerful. That's very low on health. Also, drinks. Dog me, can you distract him, please? Thank you. Fuck you. Lima access card. Okay. Locate squads. Oh, brilliant. I think we've taken care of them. I'll grab all of your um, stuff because of stuff. See, it's only a little mini quest. It's amazing. Oh god, for a second there I thought the the sound of the electricity was like some kind of bug or something. Cause they sound a lot like I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Apparently there's a separate door that I was unaware of. Is that it? Can't be. Has to be because there's other stuff up there as well. Right, what's this? What's this mission that I'm on? Classic America. Locate the squad's headquarters. Right. Looks like some kind of. Uh, I think we'll be back. We will be back for definites. We will be back. But oh my god. So wait, is that not the place? Oh. We could be in for a treat. Because the thing is, the mod description entails that this, once you've completed this mini quest, um, you basically get a, a, a bunker of sorts to yourself. So, if I'm not mistaken... Right, now that we've done that, let's go find this bunker, apparently. Which is up nice in the north, which is pretty awesome. Why is that... Why are they all... Okay, I think this is to do with a knack. Yes, it's to do with a knack. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Where is this particular bunker? Oh, that's cool. Hello, hello, hello. Lima Detachment. Oh, that... Yes. So, hmm. Lima Detachment. So, I was completely wrong about that name originally. <laughs> I think it was a Lima department. Yes, the department of Limas. So this is our HQ. Well, our new player home. Because in the last episode, which originally was going to be this episode, um, 
we were basically going to uh, transfer the funds, if you will, and all the other stuff. Oh. Oh, that's a reassuring sign. I've got a bunch of mini nukes. A bunch of anti communism. Right, let's see what we have here. Identity card reader. Holy shit! I think I'll. Uh... So, as a mop, the. Wow. Holy crap. Is that just decorative? That is just decorative. That's incredible. Got a bunch of... It's much smaller than the other one, which is fine. I'll uh, take the... Um... Holy crap, I've got myself some pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, all of this stuff is decorative, and I've got a free suit of power armor as a reward, so I've got myself my Mark II Brotherhood of Steel with the Enclave. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. So what's in here? Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. It's like a bat cave. <laughs> it's like, it's like got, we've got multiple um, stations in case you wanted to be a show off with how many power suits you've collected. Some kind of storage terminal. Oh, wow. So, like, when you want to. I'm assuming when you. Let's use this for a second. Uh, unlock your storage unit. Oh, access denied. What? 25 digit access code. Okay, so I need to somehow organize something like that. Unless that's something to do with these nukes. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk about this. Is this the same thing? I'll probably have to organize something about that, but... Holy crap, guys! Oh, look! You can charge them? No way. That's ridiculous. Oh, can we use these? No, purely decorative. Got it. Hangar bay control terminal. What's this? Living quarters door controls. Oh, I can unlock them. Unlock. Oh, wow. This goes further? Oh, hell yeah. This is awesome. And look, this is all the medical stuff. So, yep, the chemistry station, which actually looks a lot more advanced. So, basically, this particular base of operations, um, it says, as I said, in the description. Right, so that's the armor workbench. That's pretty awesome. Specific. But good. So I need to figure out. So that's the armor workbench, which is epic. So this is the power armor thing. So one would assume that you're the gun workbench. Yes, you are the gun bench. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. But and so I'm gonna was Wow, this is really well designed. Actually I'll do it like this. Natural lighting, there we go. Whoa! An old but ta advanced technical map with the sun highlighted in on a array of position highlighted red along with a glowing sea, the side and plant. Wow, it's got the whole map and everything. Can't read any of it, which is a shame, but. Oh, dude! Heavy weapons stand. We've got old computers everywhere. Haha! <laughs> Your own little t your own little firing range for testing out stuff. This is incredible. Oh my days! This is actually pretty incredible. I'm assuming you're some kind of stand or stuff. There's a lot of this stuff is unfortunately ungrabbable. Ungrabbable is not um, able to be grabbed or whatever. Oh, please tell me there's something of note here. No, no, it's just usual. <laughs> there's an exit. Wait, what? I can. <laughs> Nice. Nice. We've got a refrigerator. We've got... Ooh, some Wonder Glue. That's actually kind of nice. 
We, oh. Oh, I haven't got any. Oh, I haven't got any dirt, dirty water, have I? No, that's fair enough. Brew coffee. <laughs> Okay, apparently we haven't... Have we got coffee? I don't know. I don't know if we got coffee. I didn't get any coffee. Drinks. No, no coffee. I'm, I'm disappointed. Right, so... So this place comes with a coffee mach making machine. Hang on, let me just quickly get myself... Get rid of the right away. Okay, so that's that and that's that. So what's this? Oh, wow. This is awesome. So you get to uh, put all your armor racking stuff inside. That's incredible. I mean, unfortunately, it's over patriotism, but uh, there's a shower with all the important essentials. <gasps> and this man, this man, this god of a man, he has got my seal of approval tenfold. He has got the toilet facing the right way. I, and a working toilet and a working shower. This is a really cramped shower, though. Unless... You are okay with that. Ah, oh, can we have a look at our mirrors on the mirror? No, we can't. Oh, we got toothpaste. Oh, there's the mirror. Yes, this this is this is amazing. I cannot describe how fucking amazing this is. Well, I can't describe. There you go. And oh, look at that. Congressional living in style. Yeah, so this is for the Patriot. Or in my case, for the initiate. Uh yeah, this is gonna be our our new base of operations, so and dog meat, as ever, wanting to be an asshole. You better be grateful, dog meat, that I can't actually physically shoot you to death. But that's okay. I'm going to sacrifice you every chance I get. Okay, so we've got a chemistry plant over here. We've got ammunition stuff over there. We've also got... Apparently... Apparently, we've got fusion cores that we need to charge. Apparel, aid, junk, rods, ammo, there we go. Fusion core, fusion core, fusion core, fusion core, fusion core. What does it say about fusion cores? Well, whatever we can do, we can do. I'll do the last of that as well. That's a bit of a shame. Right, so we're going to assume that we've charged up our stuff. Lovely. Right. Well, there you guys go. We've got a base of operations. Not only that, but we've got a really cool one as well. We've now got a new suit of power armor, which is going to be amazing, but it's probably overpowered. We're going to stick with our Brotherhood of Steel one because it's the Brotherhood of Steel one and I like it. But we're going to keep her here. Because obvious reasons. Oh, I know. We can use this as an example. Can I charge her up this way? Whatever that it does. Sure thing? Whatever that sound means? That's awesome. I highly recommend this mod to anyone. At the time of the recording, the mod's been up for like maybe a couple of days. So, you know, I can highly recommend this mod. Right, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to basically transfer our stuff over from the Commonwealth to... Well, from ro ro Rocking Red Rocket over to our new little secret hideaway. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, we're going to be transferring our, our stuff from Red ro Rocking Red Rocket to our little old hideaway. And, uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's really freaking awesome. Because it's like it's such, it's like a nice, dark, underground, very well constructed, very well designed. To the maker of this mod, I tip my hat off to you. In the description down below of these two videos will be, obviously, the links to these incredible mods. Uh, it just, it's absolutely incredible. I cannot describe how awesome it is. I can describe how awesome it is. Go check it out for yourself. It's a really good mod. I thoroughly recommend it. Um, it's a nice challenge as well. The downsides of the mod, if anything, when you start out initially for the mod, you will be slightly overwhelmed. No doubt about that. Like, absolutely... Uh, oh, no. Hang on. I'll take all. 
This is gonna be a bitch. Is that everything? <laughs> That's everything. <laughs> right. That's a lot of stuff I've just got on my person that I can transfer. Okay, so for the last time, we're going to experience Rocking Red Rocket. I think it's only fair that we've utilized Rocking Red Rocket a lot. And I've used Rocking Red Lock Rocket a lot. Um, and I highly recommend you download that as well. Um, I'll, you know, I'll put both in the description. You know, yo, I'll put both of the I'll put both of those mods in the description. These these particular mods, you know, like these particular mods. Um, obviously, we'll you know we'll put the Rocking Red Rocket mod first, and then I'll put the uh, other one. I'll put the other mod in second, just as a sort of sign of respect. Um, and also um, gives I'll give you like an opportunity to have a look at yourselves, the difference between the two. Now you've seen the covert operations one for the first time from the Enclave. So I will now demonstrate to you when this thing eventually wants to load the second one, which is the Rocking Red Rocket, which we'll be abandoning for the sake of the reasons which I listed in the last episode, which were basically the Super Mutants. Every time I come back from any kind of major op, uh, lol. Oh, that's awesome! This is <laughs> nice. Um, I think that's a recent addition as well. Nicely done. Um, but yeah, because basically every time I come back from operations, I basically get assaulted by super mutants for no reason. Like, they'll always come every time. And I can take cover in, like, the underside, but I'll always have to deal with those super mutants. I don't know why. It's just a particular issue, I guess, with some of the mods I've got. Is that super mutants just, like, a patrol of super mutants and a super mutant suicider um, will arrive causing problems. But, that said, it is actually pretty awesome. So, basically... This lovely lady over here, Mrs. Eleonora, Eleonora's, that's Eleonora, who is currently fighting a war against Modstop, which is a scummy practice. Anyone who doesn't know, um, it basically, peop it, what they're trying to do is they're trying to take all the mods from the creators and put them into one downloadable package. But the thing is, the mod developers don't get an opportunity to make any of the mods that the mod stop uses um, to be compatible with anything else. And also, they take away the credit and the ability to interact with the modders uh, and just kind of steal the programs for them, the mods for themselves. So, I'm against that. And I think that's really scummy of them. So I say go to war with them. But no, anyway, going back to the main source of hand. This is Rocking Red Rocket. It's a nice, quaint, filled-to-the-brim custom player home with all of the use useful things. You've got a desk with the loads of storage terminals. Uh, you actually have your own terminal to utilize if you want to try that. You've got a lot of decorative features as well. You've got your own storage lockers. You've got all of the essentials in one area, which is a plus, admittedly, in my opinion, a major plus, uh, because... Um, You've got the armor and the weapons workbench right next to each other, so you don't have to go from one side to the other. That is a bit of a downside, but it's okay. We'll run with that for a while. And we also have a chemistry workstation all signed up together, so that's a bit of a... It's not the end of the world, really. It's only a few extra few steps, but, you know, it's a benefit if you're lazy. Um, you can also store a lot of things in this area, which is pretty nice. So there's your, your crafting section, if you will. Uh, going along to the other rooms, you can see some... Also, this area is just filled to the brim with storage areas. You've got the steam trunk, you've got food shelf, which doesn't actually have anything. It's all the stuff that you want. It's a bit of a shame that she couldn't have left a few other bits of stuff in there. But then, you know, having devised all of this stuff, it's pretty awesome. You've got this cooking stove, which is very, very nicely modded into... The actual stove itself, which is not... Uh, I'm, I'm liking it. It's pretty awesome. I like that as well. <laughs> nice. Um, nope. It's interactable as well, which is even more awesome. You have your own little bed over there. You've got a variety of um, clothes and stuff. So if you want to store all your stuff in there, you've got a bed. You've got yourself a unique apparel. All these sort of epically awesome... Also, these posters. Also, a major fan of coffee. I like that. And another cool feature is you can actually... Dog meat, could you kindly fuck off? There we go. You can also actually change your appearance. Yeah, I won't... Oh, you know, screw it. We'll just do a quick look now. So what you can actually do is change your character's appearance. Which is, is actually pretty awesome. Obviously, we've already done that. So, yes, confirmed character. So... Yep, uh, Richard Takanaka. The Takahashi, sorry. Hang on, i got to move him about a bit. Uh, this is the slight problem I have with this particular area. Is you got to be kind of careful. Because for some reason, 
you get stuck in this version of, of, of stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to move out of this. This is why I didn't really want to. Because for some reason, you get stuck in this mode. There we go. You have to use your weapon. Got it. So, you get to change your appearance if you're not a big fan of what you want. You want to get like a special haircut or whatever. And there's like a nice little poster of all the little things over there. So, all in all, let's have a look at your prices as well. Those are dollars. Three dollars for everything. I like this person. It's equally nice. So, I would say, to, for me, this has been a really nice place. Um, I've been using it for a long time, so obviously uh, there's another reason why I kind of wanted to have a bit of a change as well. The main reason were the super mutants, but another thing is also the change. It's a nice mod though. It's nice hide. It, yeah, it's a nice mod. It's quaint. It's pleasant. There's also an, an opportunity for you to go inside to the old Red Rocket, rat, rocking Red Rocket, if you are a fan or if you've already got something set up here. The usual workshops and workbenches still are here. Uh, ironically, these are the ones I use the most just for sake of ease. But um, with the other ones now, I can actually kind of more satisfactorily use them up in a more awesome manner. Right, what we're going to do also is we're now going to transfer our stuff over to Lima Detachment. And uh, admittedly, during the time that I was trying to rebuild, uh, like trying to get up to the point where we were at before, we had to like, you know, deal with the whole health pool going down for no reason thing. Um, I grabbed... <laughs> I grabbed the two perks that allowed me to both run when I'm over encumbered and fast travel when I'm over encumbered. So slightly game breaking, but these were these were vanilla perks that were in the game from the get go. Damn, that's a bright light. Right, so I'm going to assume that if we go into transfer and transfer store all the junk, and then I'm going to get rid of all the weapons I don't need. Uh, we'll get save you. And we'll save Kellogg's pistol because I don't need it. Get rid of the laser blaster. Get rid of you. How much fl you ammo do we have? Oh, we can keep the flamer, actually. Um, we'll keep the ripper for sake of, you know, reasons. And we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. And the rest of you, we can just spend some time dealing with that. Yep, that sounds awesome. Right, so now that we've secured ourselves in our glorious new HQ, with a lot more options for armor. That's a satellite gun, isn't it? No, that's that's something, but what it is, I have no idea. Either way, it's armor. Oh yeah, shit, do we not have any armor that I need to transfer over? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we in fact do have some things that we need to deal with. Yep, it is sweet. So, boom, 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 boom. Uh, what's the difference? Not much. It can stop bleeding, though. Ooh, strength and agility, or endurance and perception. That's actually both really awesome things. We'll also save you. Save you. Armored jumpsuit. Doesn't give me the extra perks, though. I think I'll have to save that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Remnant officer hat, officer, remnant officer uniform, institute director's armored uniform. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh, charisma and endurance, intelligence and perception. Keeping these two. We'll keep our remnant stuff um, as such, but everything else. Uh, flood hooded clean room suit. For some reason, my T-45 helmet also needs to go there. Oh, it's because it's broken. Ah, I remember now. And Vault 111 jumpsuit is there as well. So that should be all dandy. Which now means, of course, we have slightly... Yes. Uh, right. It's awesome. So we should be all good. Right. Now we start the very long process. And I mean very long process. Of the... Uh, well, to be honest with you, mm, I'm just thinking it probably would pay more dividends to not do that. Because, well, as much as it's nice to have the whole Sims thing, I was only doing that more for a joke. Um, 
it would take me for, it would take a long time and it would be immensely boring for you guys so rather than do that you know what let us uh, let's go back to the Pridwin speak with uh, Paladin it's Paladin speak with Elder Maxon and then we'll see what needs to be done I can't move out of here can I because I need to be up there but that's fine that's okay because now with okay so going back to the main subject at hand regarding what we're doing for the future we need to begin the quests for our DLCs. Yes, the DLCs and a few side missions on the go just to see, you know, how things are going with that one because I, I think that'll be kind of nice to do. Rather, Because I, I did say that during the main sort of campaign, the reason why we kind of sped through the first campaign or were trying to speed through the first campaign as quickly as possible was because um, I didn't... Because having played through the first campaign bef uh, already, I didn't really want to spend more time... Uh, messing about and um, like with other side missions because I basically either A would get bored because we've already done it or B uh, because it would take too long and it wouldn't be entertaining for you guys so now that we've done the main mission if we're gonna we're gonna kind of play the game like we would normally and do sort of side missions and stuff and we're just gonna sort of really kind of push you know slow you know I would play I will play I will play how I will play now. Rather than focus on the main mission at hand, I'll play in whichever form I am uh, able to, which is pretty awesome. So, we're going to be having... What was the first one? We're going to be doing the Automaton first, because I'm going to be doing the DLCs in order. So, the Automaton DLC first, then Far Harbor, and then finally Nuka World, which would be... Uh, fairly epic. I'm not entirely sure what Mr. Elder Maxon wants us to do. I didn't think I have actually did this when I first completed through. And everyone's going to probably have a go at me for being all meany because of the whole the way I dealt with the Institute, but the game doesn't actually show the clearly morally grey option. I mean, everyone says that, you know, if we're playing through on whatever thing, it, apparently the, brother, the Brotherhood of Steel are the, the bad ending, if you will. Not really. Not really. The absolute worst ending has to be the um, the Institute. They're the ones who will basically screw over humanity for some petty reason. As to, you know, they're like, oh no, we'll be saving humanity. No, you won't. You really won't. Anyway, let's have a look. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect, Elder Maxon has already explained. The destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Mm. Can I talk? There are still synths left in the Commonwealth? Unfortunately, yes. The Institute maintained exploratory patrols, scouting teams, and other autonomous units that are scattered throughout the wasteland. Now that their headquarters has been eliminated, they may be in hiding, or worse, conspiring to regroup for a counterattack. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. Nice. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Boom. Ad Victorium. Oh, nice. Tweaking pitch. Sweet! All right, so I basically get free reign of doing whatever. That's very nice. I'm liking that. So, whilst we're here, we might as well. Yeah. So basically, we'll get a, we'll give it, we we give a rundown. So yeah, basically now we're going to be chilling. 
Uh, we're going to be slowing down the pro the progression in this particular game. Um, obviously, I intend on looting the living crap out of that other place first of all. I'm going to strip that place bare and like put all the crap I can find into the um, brothers into and sisters. New place. I will make this brief. I wish only to say thank you for all your hard work and dedication in the defeat of the Institute. Our sacrifices have been great, but thanks to all of you. We stand today in a commonwealth free from the grip of madmen. Tomorrow always brings another battle. But thanks to all of you, we have won today. Ad victorium, brothers and sisters. Ad victorium. Oh, sweet. We've got the automaton droid as well. That's quite the crater you've manifested in the center of Boston. Marvelous work. Simply marvelous. Nice. <laughs> you aren't disappointed that all the Institute's... Technical research just went up in smoke? On the contrary, it's always been my sincerest hope that the Institute's ill-conceived research would never see the light of day. Okay. And thanks to your efforts, it appears that my hopes have become reality. I'm glad you're impressed. There's no need to be modest. You deserve all the accolades you've been receiving, and more. Your actions have proven to the people of the Commonwealth that the Brotherhood of Steel has their best interests in mind. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who was merely a new recruit only a short time ago. Well, I've already taken up more than enough of your valuable time. If you still wish to procure to... Uh-huh. Oh, I, I, I got Dr. some. Quinlan. I hear congratulations are in order, Sentinel. Now, did you have any documentation for me? Or perhaps you'd be willing to lead a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These will prove interesting. I'll file them immediately. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, mm -hmm. check every building yeah, yeah, you yeah. Right. We know, we know the drill. Oh, look at a kitty! Oh! Anyway, uh, I'm a sucker for cats. So, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Thank you. Sorry, you're not allowed. <laughs> I'm a sentinel. Congratulations, sir, on the promotion to sentinel. Yep. Nice gun you've got. Very nicely done. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> wow. Okay, I guess he got the wrong message. <laughs> uh, hey. Well, it appears you got what you wanted. The Institute's destroyed, and everyone up here thinks you're a hero. What's the matter? Please tell me you're kidding. You can't be that blind. The fact of the matter is that innocent people died because Elder Maxon had delusions of grandeur. He kept preaching that the Institute was playing God for creating the synths. Well, you know what? Maybe he should take a look in the mirror because he's the only one that I saw that's been playing God. Don't you think they needed to answer for their crimes? Oh, God, now you're starting to sound like Maxon. He really got under your skin, didn't he? You know, I actually convinced myself that you were using Liberty Prime as leverage. That you were hoping for the Institute to surrender. This is the second time I've let the Brotherhood betray me, and I don't intend for there to be a third. I've already told Proctor Ingram that I'm through working on Liberty Prime. I'm going to work on my own projects in peace. So from now on, I suggest we stay out of each other's way. Ad victorium, Sentinel. You've done a heck of a job, Sentinel. Ad victorium. Wow. Okay, so apparently I've done a baddie, even though, though Proctor. So, any other tricks up your sleeve besides making the institute disappear? No, but I'm glad you approve. Approve? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's an understatement. You almost single-handedly finished everything that the Brotherhood came here to do. Even to a curmudgeon like me, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, I'm not here to talk your ear off. Maxon's informed me that you're continuing your tour aboard the Pridwin. So I was hoping you could assist me with a long-term problem. Keeping the Pridwin hovering like this is putting a tremendous strain on the ship's propulsion systems. I can stay ahead of the repairs, and we have plenty of fuel to keep the fusion reaction sustained, but we're short on reactor coolant. I'll be on the lookout. Don't worry. Well, you can look all you want. You're not going to find cans of the stuff laying around the Commonwealth. Here, take this list. 
It details exactly what you need to make a can of this special coolant. Find the materials, whip some of it up at any of the chemistry stations on the ship, and bring them to me. Pretty simple. If the coolant's good, then I'll even pay you for it, as per our retrieval compensation policy. Anyway, I guess that's it for now. Good luck. Nice. So we got another little ad, um, collection quest thing, which sounds nice and all. I saw the Institute explode from up here. Great work, sir. Tegan, I know I'm not the first to say this, but I appreciate what you did down there. Ooh. The Institute got exactly what it deserved. Amen to that. If we won, why do you still sound so upset? I guess I'm just thinking about all the lives that were lost getting to this point. There was this one pilot in particular. Rico was his name. Oh. I'd been on this ship long enough that I watched him go from a greenhorn wastelander to a lancer. Every day after his duty shift, he'd come back here and we'd talk about, well, everything. Sometimes for hours. I remember the day Kells put him in command of a vertibird. He ran right down here to me and handed me a bottle of whiskey. I told him to keep it, but he insisted. He said I was his friend. Felt he owed it to me for keeping him sane all those years. I have a feeling this story isn't going to end well. You could say that. Right before you got back to the Pridwin, Kells told me he was shot down. Some oh, punk shit. with a rocket launcher got lucky and blew him from the sky. I, yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. Yeah, I found it's him. not really any of your concern. Fuck. I guess I just wanted to show you that there's two sides to every victory. Those who live to revel in it, and those who died making it happen. Well, I think I've raked you through the mud for long enough. Here, I want to give you this as a token of my gratitude for everything you've done. I hope the gesture means the same to you as it did to me. Oh, Proctor Teagan. Well, if it isn't our very own Sentinel, I've got some special gear set aside for you. Let me know if you'd like to take a look. I'll take a look. Be my guest. Ooh, some extra stuff. Right, so let's go have a look at ammunition. We have lots of. Oh. I only have a hundred and such and such. Right. Oh, bollocks. You haven't got any medical stuff, do you? Right, what do I have? With the lot I will say the wait, that was the whiskey that was given to me. Let's not sell that. I'll transfer that into my um thingy, but no. Right, oh, no, I'm I'm why was that in my aid? Doesn't matter, that's the junk. Uh oh wow. Jesus Christ. Vengeance. Nice. Gearhead eyepiece, GG. Oh, for some reason that's not looking... Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Night vision goggle, headgear, night vision goggles, night vision headgear. What kind of weapons do we have? That's a crap laser gun. Uh, death from above, GG. Triple barrel. Standhand granat. 175, GG. Right, well, we need some 308 rounds, because we finally got some as well, but... Really? We probably could do with the, f uh, probably the five thousand. But actually, I'll take the, take that one as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Grab the five five six because of the mini gun. And screw it, we'll take some of that as well. Uh, Forty five seventy. That's the lever action rifles. Um, should we grab some more fifty cal? Because I do intend on trying to find a fifty cal sniper rifle that will do us the honor of killing a lot of those guys. Right, so that's all we've got now. That's that's all right. That'll do. That'll be our. We may thing. have liberated the Commonwealth, but our job is far from over. Amen to that, brother. We still got a load of DLC to deal with. We got we've got all the shit to loot. We've got oh, we have got tons of things to do. It's ridiculous the amount of crap that we've still got to do. I, of which, of course, love it. It's it's definitely an awesome feeling to realize that we've still got a lot of things to do. And this game is not quite over for us. Now, I do want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has watched up to this point. Uh, you guys are pretty much the main reason why I'm doing this. Oh, nice. I'll have all of that. I'm a sentinel. Long enough to witness the Brotherhood's next trial. Indeed you shall. Why? Because I'm here. But no, I want to take everyone. Thank everyone. Oh, the kitty. 
I want to thank everyone for watching up to this point and to continuing to watch because we are not over. This series is not over by a long shot, which is one of those nice feelings. It's one of the sort of nice feelings we get to have. Oh yeah, I can loot from here as well. And I don't get... Hey, dog meat. Stop making me look like a criminal. Nick out. God's sake. Right. Nick that. I'll take your antique world. I'll take all the booze, actually. No, let's not access the terminal. He's going to come in here and be so pissed. Lol, technical document. Oi, bye bye. I think we've already done this. Yes, we've already done this. I'm taking that bottle cap. Right. So, yes. Thank you very much to everyone who's stuck with us so far. I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. It's awesome. You're the main... The thing is, that as much as I say, oh, you know, I... As much as you can say, oh, you're only doing this because, you know, you know it's like the habit to get into or the kicking. I'm like, yeah, it's something that does, you know, it's a nice healthy little reminder to do it. And it helps me get on and get into the habit of doing it. But really, it's it's also because it's nice to see people commentating down below. You know, if if no one was watching this, it'd be very difficult to continue doing because it just doesn't feel like it's actually doing something. You know, I, I wouldn't feel like I, w I didn't, I would not feel like doing it if I didn't feel like doing it. Also... Is that working? Oh, good God, it is. That's actually pretty creepy. So, yeah, that's... I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching this up to this point, and let's hope that the 2018 is going to be a successful year, especially with all this awesome stuff that we're going to be looking forward to. Now, with regards to side ops and... or side ops... side missions and whatnot... I don't know how many we're going to be, like, rolling around to do. Obviously, I'm going to do the DLC, so any particular mini side quests or any sort of little things like that uh, we will be jumping onto or whatever. But there may be also be some stuff from the original game that if I come across and I find and I fancy doing, then we'll probably do that as well. So we'll pretty much play it how I want to continue playing it. And I hope you guys will be there for the rest of the ride, because um, there are still things I've not seen in this game, you know, and I'll be utilising all the weapons and occasionally updating and grabbing new mods um again i also go to the description for that um our new load our new our new hq as well which is looking absolutely fantastic i'm not gonna lie and uh yeah that's gonna be awesome so let's spend the last 10 minutes looking at the new crater where the institute used to be i have a feeling piper is not gonna like us at all in fact which is a bit of a shame but eh. Wow. Ooh, that's radioactive. How radioactive? That radioactive. Right. Let's uh, clear this place out and wait till the daytime. Then we'll have a look at the... Uh... Right, where are you? There you are. Right, so we'll look. Well, guess what? I'm a bit of a coward. But then, you're a bit of a moron for standing out in the open. You want to actually hit the target, or do you want to just keep missing? stim pack and one of them out of nuka cola quantums i've gone through in this bloody uh, playthrough is not many not many at all pinkies i i don't want to know but sure i'll take that i'll take that and oh new 10 millimeter pistol fantastic awesome saucers Right, so let's clear out this position, shall we? Ooh. Okay, we're good. I feared that was like an oil thingy. Hmm? Oh, sh shit. No eyes. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. 
Ew, you're pretty awkward. Oh, you're a boss as well. Alright. <laughs> Your wish is my command. A command, yes. Yes. I'm a survivor. Oh, that's a point. Let's. Re before we shout, proclaim to the. Well, before we proclaim our effectiveness in combat, uh, let's uh, save. So, in case anything does go wrong. Where are you? There you are. Yep, figured as much. Right, let's grab some food. Use all the food that we've just used to give me more stuff. Loading. Tom, 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 tom. Sup? Dead man walking. Radiated. Ooh. Critical damage refills action points. That's actually quite a nice weapon. 45 combat. A lot of uh, armored dreadnought. Right arm. That seems like a decent thing. What's inside here? Oh my god. Ammo from the galore. Beautiful. Right. Anything else? No? Oh no, we got something. It's an ammo box, which is unneeds to be unlocked. Nice. This must be an expert thing. Nice. Only for 45 rounds. GG. Mm, excuse me. Oh no, don't tell me I can't sit down. God damn it. I was really hoping to find like some kind of bunk bed or something. Ah, there is. Fantastic. Right. Uh, we'll sleep for like... Uh... Yeah, screw it. Let's do this. Five... Uh, eh, 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 eh. There you go. Eleven o'clock in the morning. Wow, that's that's kind of impressive, really. It's fairly dull and dire day. Oh, I'll take your jet. Hey, oi! There we go. Have a look, see what else you've got. You've got lots of. Yeah, you've got a fair amount of stuff, but nothing too important. Oof, lovely. Right, what is this? What's inside here apart from copyright material because of all this musical stuff? Uh, nothing. Nothing over here, is there? Oh, hello. You got a friend? Wait, is in here? We have a dude. Where? Where? Oh, hello. How the hell did I not trigger you? Like, seriously. Right, so I assume... Script. Here we go. I'll take all that shit, though. Jeez. Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, what's yes. this? E oh, that's awesome. That is handy. I will remember that in future reference. Right. So, for the last few minutes of our 33rd episode, we are just going to embrace the utter destruction of the Institute, which is morally grey, I'm going to be honest with you. Some people may find this to be a bad idea. Some people say that the Institute are the bad guy, uh, aren't the bad guys. You know, they're, they're not good. You know, they're not perfect, but at least, you know... They're not Nazis, or as, you know, people call the, um, the Brotherhood of Steel the Nazis. Which, for some reason, everyone calls them that. Yes, Elder Maxon could be a little bit more modern when it comes to synth. Just primarily when it comes to, um, when it comes down to... Hang on, let me just get some right away. Boom. When it comes down to, for example, dealing with such stuff like Vitnik Valentine or whatever. But the synths that were operated by that should generally be... Damn. Let me try and get inside. Can we actually see anything from here? If I can just open up this a little bit. Let's actually go down to the core, shall we? Let's try and see if we can find anything of salvageable repute here. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? It's completely gone. That's what's left of the dome. 
slowly filling up the radioactive. Even though it says there's no radioactive radiation, it is still kind of radioactive, which is a bit of a problem. But look, that's all that's left. That's all that's left. Down to the center of this place. Whoa! The fuck is going on there? Quickly get out of the water, shall we? Oh, it's water supply. Bloody hell. I... <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oops. Sorry. I did kind of make a boo-boo. Why is there a power suit over there? I... Sure. Right, let's get out of here. Did forget... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. See what I mean about... Oh, lovely. I think one of those things is a glowing one. Disgusting. Thank you very much. Did not want you. What's following you? Um, you better just be. What? You're joking. Uh, wow. Right. What's that over there? I saw a blood bug, so I'm like, no, we're not having that here. All right, we'll take care of we'll take care of this blood blood bug or blot fly. Yeah, there are multiple things. All right, All right, there's a blot fly. So we'll take care of that definitely. I just nuke it with a missile because I can kill it with that. That's right, asshole. I can hit you too. Oh, thank God you killed the blood bug. I didn't really want to have to deal with the blood bug. Not after that. I'm really not looking forward to dealing with whatever the hell else is there. There is a legit power suit armor just chilling there. Like, legit just chilling there. For no reason. Oh, Raider Hoarder. Let's have a look. Hello! You alive or dead? Well, obviously you're alive, but... Oh. hey oh, How you doing? Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. You seem to be handling yourself fairly well. You going to... You know what? As a mark of respect and dignity, I'm going to let you live. There you go. Feel free to ply the trade of whatever thing you did prior to your arrival here. Oh. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Okay, no, 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 no. I'll spare the raider, but your ass is grass. Are you going after the raider? Infected blood bug. Oh shit, I missed. Right. Hit, 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 hit. Ah, fuck. Right. Mm. Right. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I think it is, but I'm not sure. I'm a little... I am a little bit nervous. If that was the reason why that guy was on the panicking fritz, then... Okay, no, that sounds like a... Nope, that sounds like a no. That sounds like a very big no. Yeah, that's a no from me. You can... You can die now. You can... You can fucking die now. You can die now. Die. Fucking die. Fucking die. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Stop being out of ammunition when I really 
don't need you to be out of ammunition. No. Just no. Right. Is that all of them? I don't think that is all of them. I know that we're in an area where there are blood bugs. It's not as bad as the other places here are. But still. I'm going to explore. The How much radiation is there? Oh shit, is this like a underground? Damn, the radioactive area must be... Yeah, that, that's a... That's gonna be a downside, I think. Okay, so there is... It does eventually disappear. Unfortunately, though, it does result in you having lots of uh, radioactive issues, but... That's fine. Just grab the helmet and we'll back, we're back in order, which is nice. Ah, oh, lovely. Radioactive materials. Just what I wanted to have again. Right, well, we're just gonna, when we finish, whilst we're finishing off the last of this episode, we might as well do this little tiny bit of a mission, which is the, the destruction of whatever, I don't even want to know what the pinkies are, but the enemy had them, I'm healthy. Is that it? Is that all of them? I, th oh, no, <laughs> oh, I just wanted to be done with one mission. Uh, now I got fucking feral ghouls on my ass. Oh my god. Never is an easy one, is it? Oh, now I can't really run away the other way. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 a little bit closer. Oh, jeez. We've taken a heavy casualty rate. Okay, so that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you... Ooh, I've seen you now. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. I will hope to catch you. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to... No. No. You don't deserve to live. You vile, disgusting creature. Wow, the feral ghouls agree with me for once. Yeah, no, I see. I hope you have a good... Hopefully, you'll be catching up with me in the, for the rest of this series, whereupon we will be encountering probably more terrifying monsters, ginormous insects, and the absolute determination and desire to kill both things with a mini nuke and a very big gun. What's left of that? But yeah, so that'll be it from me, guys. Thank you very much. And this is Mr. Jaeger signing out. I just need to confirm that the blood bug is in fact dead because if I, I'd, I'd, I'd hate for you to... Seriously, we're getting another fucking... There we go. Right, this is Mr. Yeager signing out.